Hello and welcome to DMX Lighting for Beginners. This short series explains how to use DMX Lighting. A short while ago I bought some lights to use with my band and also a Showtech 2412 lighting controller. At first I found it very confusing because I presumed that light 1 was DMX1, light 2 was DMX2 and light 3 DMX3 etc. But initially I got it wrong. It all depends on how many channels each light has. Have a look at the DMX charts in the manuals. The manuals will also show how to change the DMX address. Sometimes it's done with up and down buttons on a numerical display and other times using a dip switch like this. These dip switches do the same job, but there are many combinations of the dip switch to assign a channel to the DMX light. The best thing to do is to get this app for an iPhone or similar. It's called DMX Dip. Type the number in you want and it shows you the dip switch settings. Now for a practical application. The first light is a three channel light. It has red, green and blue and these are assigned to channels 1, 2 and 3. The DMX address for the light is just 1, but because it's a 3 channel light, it takes another 2. So the next light in the chain, which is also a 3 channel light, is assigned to DMX4. And similarly to the first light, it uses 3 channels, which means it's going to use 4, 5 and 6. So the next DMX channel you're going to use for your next lights will be 7. On channel 7 on my system I use a 6 channel light. This is an RGB laser and the 6 channels control the various functions of the laser such as colour, direction, speed, pattern etc. If you're thinking, well this looks very difficult to control in the life situation, you would be right. By using these channel faders to obtain the lighting effect that you wish to use, you can then combine it into what's called a scene. More on this in part 2. So just to recap, Channel 1 of this desk addresses DMX1. Channel 4 addresses DMX4. Channel 7 addresses DMX7. That gives me two RGB lights and a laser. As the light that is set to DMX address 7 is on channel 7, the next light needs to be set to DMX address 13 because channel 7's light is a 6 channel light. So carry on adding your lights in this way, but you will eventually get to channel 24. Then you have to press the record button and the button marked audio together to change the mixer to accept channel inputs 25 to 48. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Part 2 shows the assignment of the individual light settings to scenes.